Hi guys, we are from the industry deficiency and the problem on YouTube. XOR operation in an array. We are given an integer n and integer star. We find an array nums where nums of y equal to star plus two star i and n equal to equal to nums star two. So return the bitwise XOR operation of all the elements. The problem is very simple. We are given a number, let's say n equal to equal to five, as two or ten to any example. And star will be something. Remember, initial is zero in this case, and we have to compute an array nums. Now the length of the nums will be nothing but this n itself, so that is five. Then each element in the array, how do we calculate? So we calculate each element in the array by star whatever there plus two star i. So it is five, five times. Then zero, one, two, three. And four. This will be the i values. So we have used zero plus two star i. Each time, and we compute the elements of the array. So for computing elements of the array, as as we know, we have to declare an array, initialize an array, and it will be. And the main it the subset is nums equal to new int of, and the size will be n itself. So yeah. And we will take the number of it. Now, how do we do the bitwise exit operation? So we run the for loop. We have to compute the elements of the array, right? So for int i equal to zero, i less than n, n is something that comes out length, and i plus plus. So initially, we we will have um, we need to compute the element of the number, right? So number of i. We have to give the formula here. Start plus two star. So once you give numbers of i, the simultaneous will be XOR operation. So initially that XOR operation we will have XOR results. Okay, let's say XOR results. So that will be initial as zero. Why initial as zero? We know the XOR operation is certain, but if there is alternative numbers, binary numbers, then the result will be one. So if it is zero zero, then XOR will be zero one because both are of same number, same bit. If it is zero one here, one is zero, one is one. Hence there is a B one and one zero again alternate. That's why the result is one. If you take one one, here the both are equal. So, so that's why the result will be zero. So this is the XOR operation, and we have the operator XOR in Java or any language. And we use it. So initially, initially we will uh, initialize XOR result equal to zero. Why result equal to zero? Because it will take the first element zero, right? So if we do XOR zero with zero, so if the uh, number is two, then zero XOR two will be depends on two itself. That is how. So we know XOR result equal to XOR result XOR operation symbol. With the nums of i, that's it. So finally, by the end of all the loop. So once you get the result, now zero two zero one two three four, and uh, by computation, what will you get? Zero two four six eight. So, so star plus two star i. So star is zero, right? So we can then just uh, start. So two star i. So zero one two three and four. So zero then. Two ones are two, and two twos are four. Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. These are the numbers. So initially zero is zero zero. It will get, will give you zero. So once you get zero is zero zero, now this result zero is zero is the first element. That is two. That will give you some result. Uh, by that we you know right. Uh, you can calculate that. Then this result is again zero with four. So at the end we we'll till eight we do and the final result will be XOR result. So that we have to return. This one we have to return. So it's a very simple code. You will first we will initialize the array. So int nums my nums they are given the array name nums equal to new int of the size of the name n. Next uh, int XOR result equal to zero initially. So for int i equal to zero, i less than n, and i plus plus, nums of i equal to 
star plus two star x. That's what they are told. So along with this, we'll calculate XOR also. So XOR result equals to XOR result XOR operation with numbers of R. So each time you compute numbers of R, that itself will do the XOR operation. This you can simplify as instead of writing this small expression, just give the equal set. Yeah. This is a a equal to a plus b, we write a plus equals to b in that form. So at last we uh, return the x or z. Fine? Yeah. Okay, one second, network is good. Accepted. Yes, successfully submitted. Submit is hundred percent. And we need not to have two loops here. One for finding the elements of the array, then again one more loop for finding the XOR. Combined together, you will get the best result. So if you have any doubts, please drop it in the comment section. We come up with another video next session. And please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Keep learning. Thank you.